Cerebrospinal fluid is also abbreviated as CSF and it's a colourless liquid which has a purpose to protect the brain and spinal cord from physical and chemical damage. It circulates through the ventricles of the brain, the subarachnoid space and the central canal of the spinal cord. Cerebrospinal fluid is actually part of extracellular fluid and it contains various substances which are both organic and inorganic. It contains glucose, lactic acid, proteins, urea and positively charged ions like sodium, potassium, magnesium and calcium. It also contains negatively charged ions like chloride and bicarbonate. An important thing to note is that cerebrospinal fluid also contains lymphocytes. The total volume of cerebrospinal fluid in a healthy adult is between 80 to 150 milliliters. There are three main functions of cerebrospinal fluid. And the first one is to provide a suitable chemical environment for neuronal signaling. The balance of positive and negatively charged ions helps with the production of action potentials and postsynaptic potentials. If this balance is disrupted, it can seriously disrupt the production of these nerve potentials. It also has a function as a shock absorbing medium. It helps to protect the delicate tissues of the brain and the spinal cord from sudden jerky movements which would cause these structures to bounce off the bony surfaces like the cranial cavity or the vertebral canal. And the third function is that it's also involved in the exchange of nutrients and waste between the blood and nerve tissue. There are four cerebrospinal fluid filled cavities in the brain and they are called ventricles and they are located here. There is a lateral ventricle in each hemisphere and these lateral ventricles are separated by a thin membrane called septum pellucidum. And then we have the third ventricle here just above the hypothalamus and the fourth ventricle here between the brainstem and the cerebellum. Cerebrospinal fluid is produced in the choroid plexuses which are capillary networks in the walls of these ventricles. It's the ependymal cells of these capillaries which form the cerebrospinal fluid by filtration of blood plasma. Components to be filtered to form cerebrospinal fluid don't leak backwards here because of the tight junctions between these choroid plexus epithelial cells or CPE cells. This is called the blood cerebrospinal fluid barrier which allows certain substances to pass through to cerebrospinal fluid but not others. This is a way of protecting the brain and reducing the risk of contamination. Finally, to end the video, we're going to be talking about the circulation of cerebrospinal fluid. So, like we just mentioned, the cerebrospinal fluid is produced by the choroid plexus of each ventricle. It flows through the ventricles and into the subarachnoid space, and this is via the median and lateral apertures. Some of the cerebrospinal fluid flows through the central canal of the spinal cord. Then the cerebrospinal fluid flows through the subarachnoid space and then it's later absorbed into the dural venous sinuses via the arachnoid villi. So that's all for this video on the cerebrospinal fluid. If you found this video useful, please leave a like or leave a comment below. If you'd like to request a certain video to be made, then just write the topic in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.